of Fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Hurricane's making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. Dynamite's making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Not able to land the headshot. A headshot blocked. him in the mug with the right. A little double jab to the head. And he engages in the clinch. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Hurricane, defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Focus. Hurricanes rocked, and his defense is porous right now. He could go down at any moment. Well, the problem is he's got the habit of blocking punches. When a guy's putting them together, you can't block them all. Some are getting through. Dynamite's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Come on! Great round now, back and forth. After he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Oh, you got this one. Well, that's where he wants to try to keep him. Just contain him there in the corner. on to his opponent. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Hurricane. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, 
it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two nice. fighters. Relaxed. You're in control, all right? No. Got that? You're in control. So, take your time. Nice. Dynamite's recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Hurricane. Protecting his head well with his guard. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Good way to protect the midsection. the mark with the hook up top dynamite swinging and missing like he's at bat right there that punch was nowhere near his opponent his opponent wanted the body he wouldn't give it to him good right hand by hurricane halfway through round number two Dynamite's just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off. Boom, left hand comes home. Dynamite's almost out of it there. He was stunned. The belt line he goes with a left hand. <laughs> Unable to land clean by Dynamite. Dynamite's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. And he ties up on the inside. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Ten clicks of the talk. Hooking to the body. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Dynamite. Don't stand in front of him. You go. We have to start doubling that jab. Listen to me. I need you to keep busy, all right? I need more than one punch. There you go. Dynamite's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up. But he looks to be steady on his feet here. Good defense, just covering up down low. away from those headshots with his defense up top. And he returns on that exchange. Body 
And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Hurricanes defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Dynamite's on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And he's holding. Keep moving, keep moving. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Dynamite. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Three minutes gone by in this round. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You gotta watch the water in the good. corner. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving, all right? Keep the hands moving. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me. The Hurricanes up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Dynamite. Keep doing what you're doing. Dynamite's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Good flush shot by Hurricane. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Hurricane's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Dynamite's nailed by a huge hook. How about that left hand? Halfway through round number four. Mites tagged. Double up on Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Now he ties up there. Solid uppercut. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again.
Good defensive skill with the block by Dynamite. Dynamite's fatigue is... What a big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab, jab. Oh. Nice, relaxed. Good, good. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting the jab through his chest. His hands will drop, then follow with the power shot. The keep this guy off balance. Okay, so keep on. Dynamite's got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. Good block by Dynamite. There you go. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. You're doing great. <laughs> now hugging on the inside. Question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up. How does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Dynamite crushed by a huge uppercut. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's gonna step in now and stop this. One, two, three, four, five. The ref is stopping this fight. Hurricane's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.